Hi guys, it's Happy Ninja here, and as one of my viewers asked, I am going to make a video on how to make a dash animation, which is this one. So I'll just show you what my dash animation looks like. So I'm going in the game, and this is my player, and when I click Q, I do this dash sort of thing. So I'll show you how to make that. Normally I delete my stuff, but since it took a long time to make it, I'm not going to delete it this time. So, first thing you're going to want to do is create your own dash animation. So, then you pop that in a folder, which you have to add into Replicate Storage. So, you just add a folder and name your folder anima you can call it whatever you like but since in the script i used anima just i think it's best to do that and inside it you want to add an animation just an empty animation now um so i showed you in one of my other videos how to make an animation so you should check that out and um so make your dash animation I don't actually think it will change what this actually looks like, but just make your animation anyway. And then, so once you did, so go into the animation, so you should have copied your asset ID, and then you go into this, the properties and find the animation ID, and right there, you just use the animation ID, so let's copy that. And paste that. And then, so you should have, oops, so you should have your um, animation there. So inside, call your animation dash anima. And then now, let's go to starter player and insert a, a local script into starter character scripts. Now, so this is pretty much my script. So first you're going to write repeat wait until game.players.localplayer so you're pretty much just waiting for game.players.localplayer and then you're going to write local uis equals game colon get service user input service which you're just getting the user input service and you referenced it as a shorter name uis and then do the same for replicate storage, except you change the part inside the speech marks and you change it to RS for the name. And then do local TS equals game column get service tween service. Now you actually have to thank a different YouTuber for this because I actually learnt it from that YouTuber. I'll send you a link to his video. Anyway, so continuing on. Then you write local character equals game dot players dot local player dot character, and then you write local is on dash length and cooldown. Remember to have your commas is equals nil comma point three comma zero point one. So the nil is for the first one, which is is on. So is on is nil. Dash length is the second one, which is point three. And then cooldown is 0 0.1. So you can all change all of these. Now I, you can make your cooldown 1, 2, but I'm doing 0 0.1 just so you can dash quite fast. And then um, the dash length is how far you go with your dash. You can make it far, I don't know, let's go to 0.5. And, but make sure the is on is nil. And then so dash animation is character.humanoid colon load animation, which means you're loading an animation. And then so you'll write inside brackets is.anima.dashanima, which is your dash anima that you 
made before so it's loading that animation then you write local default view 70 which is kind of like what your default camera view is your dash speed is 60 which is kind of how fast that you dash and trash table is these interesting brackets and then next you write uis dot input began colon connect function and then inside these brackets you write input comma is typing and then you start if is typing then return end which means so if someone's typing that's not when you want the script to happen so you're like nope you ended the you ended it so nothing happens if someone's typing and then if input dot key code equals equals enum dot key code dot q then so if they press q then this will happen so if is on then return end which just means pretty much if is on is true then it's going to end it because it shouldn't be on and then you're going to write is on is true so and then you do all this stuff and then you write local bv equals instance dot new body velocity remember to do body velocity in speech marks but not none of the other parts comma character dot humanoid dot root part so you're creating a new body velocity bv dot max force equals vector three dot new so you're making the uh, max force i'd recommend making it very high make the middle one not too high though and then you body velocity bv dot velocity equals character dot humanoid rupert dot c frame dot look vector times your dash speed which is what you had up here 60 and then trash table and then inside the square brackets you write character and then outside you write equals bv and then you write dash animation play which means the animation will play then local information equals tween info inside dot new inside brackets write dash length enum dot easing style dot linear you can choose your own easing style then you write comma enum dot easing direction dot in out comma zero tr comma true comma zero then you write ts tween service colon create so it's creating a new thing and then game dot workspace dot current camera information which you made right here the new tween info and then comma field of view equals default view plus 15 colon play then you write task task dot wait and then inside brackets you write the dash length which was also up there then you write dash animation colon stop so the animation stopped because the dash length was like maxed out pretty much and then trash table and then square brackets like you did before character colon destroy trash table same square brackets character equals nil then you write task dot wait cooldown so you have to wait your cooldown to use dash again and then is on equals nil so after you got all that script you can go ahead and test your game and then you should be able to dash just like i am so if you want to check out the person i learned this from i'll send a um a link in the description anyway so thanks for watching please like and subscribe and bye